I'm a mixed media artist. I'm primarily a sculptor. I work in bronze and aluminum, and I work in cellu clay and wood, and I'm known for my equine art. I do love horses, and I've ridden my whole life, but back in my history, my grandfather was a horseman, and he was Austrian, and he ran a sales and training stable in New York City into the 40s. So everybody says in the family that I take after him. I started sculpting horses as kind of just a release for myself. I was working on computers for many, many years as an artist, and I wanted to get my hands back into real fine art materials, and I always loved three-dimensional design. I would studied three-dimensional design. Some of these media are very difficult. Uh, bronze is a very complex piece. There's about 12 steps involved in a bronze, starting with sculpting in a clay to make a clay model. And, and the model has to be molded, and the mold has to have wax put into it, and then another piece and melt it out. And you have to make a, another an investment piece that's hollow and pour the bronze in there. And it involves about 12 different steps that it takes many months to do. And I love doing bronzes, but you're turning it over to somebody else, too. You have to hand your work over to experts at a foundry. The reason I started doing these mixed media horses is I can do them all myself, and I can have my hands on the piece from start to finish. A lot of these materials were basically accidents, some of them just trying different materials. It's just a matter, you know, of trying them. You can't be in a rush, and if it doesn't work out, you can't be too upset, you just move on. My favorite pieces, I have a number of favorite pieces, and I do like Run Wild, Run Free a lot. I like the movement in them. I happen to like Appaloosa horses a lot, and they're kind of a tribute to a horse I had once that was an Appaloosa. That one's a tribute to the Florida Cracker Horse, which is the official horse of Florida with the vintage postcards on there was a lot of fun. It took me months to collect the postcards. Some of them date back to 1903. I never thought that I would be here now. I never thought I'd have sculptures in a museum. I thought my life was going in a whole different direction. And I'm very happy that I found sculpture. I'm happy that I found all of these different mediums and that my work has been so well accepted and I see these sculptures as part of me. When I do part with one, I want to know where it's going. I want to know where it's going to be. And they're that important to me that they're just not commodity that I'm selling. They're part of my soul. And they're part of horses which are important to me and my life. So I, I guess that's, that's why I do this. It's part of me and any artist will tell you that they're giving up a little piece of themselves in every piece of their artwork.